That's where it all begins, Steve. So you must have some really fond memories of those days in Little Aths. Certainly do, yeah. Oh OK, thanks for that. Coming up soon in 7 News, well, the pokies, they've been rolled away. The clean-out of a southeast casino. What's next for the Heritage Building? And it's feeling like summer in the final week of winter. I'll have the forecast next. Let's go to Max Futcher now for a look at the top stories coming up shortly in the News at 6. Steve, tonight, the moment a monster grey white attacks a fishing boat. He just bit my boat! Car thieves' cruel and shocking insult to parents of a murdered Gold Coast teenager. New rules for airlines over delayed and cancelled flights, what it means for travellers. Here comes the heat when it'll surge into the mid-30s. And Selling Australia, how you can cash in on our big property series. Full details, just ahead at six. Time for a full weather wrap now and Michelle, we are cheering, but where has winter gone? Somewhere other than southeast Queensland, Steve, currently it is still 23 degrees in Southport with north to northwesterly winds at 13 kilometres per hour. On the Gold Coast today, these sort of temperatures almost seem to be coming normal, but they're not. It only got down to 18 degrees at the Seaway last night. That's one degree off the record for the warmest August night. Coolangatta reached a top of 26 and it was around 30 degrees inland away from those sea breezes. On the satellite, a trough is sending hot air from the outback all the way to the coast as it slowly moves east. Tomorrow it moves offshore, but more troughs are expected to form through the week, moving in similar patterns across southern Queensland and continuing this warm trend. So on the Gold Coast tomorrow, tops are still in the 20s for all spots, except for Canungra on 30 degrees there, and warm again tonight with a low of 17 for coastal spots. In surface paradise, a mostly sunny day ahead with 17 to 27 degrees. If you're heading out on the water, winds will be northwesterly, tending northerly in the afternoon with seas to a metre and a half. Surfers, it was a small and messy swell today, about knee high at Burley Heads. A good chance for learners to get out there though. Tomorrow we have the swell picking up just a little bit but you'll still have to search for a wave. It'll be about waist high and we have south to southwesterly winds forecast in the morning. Looking ahead, nothing here but blue skies on the board and here is that heat we have been talking about. 30 degrees on Wednesday then building to the final day of winter on Saturday with 33 degrees and Steve that could even be record breaking. Well, absolutely incredible weather on our way. Time to get rid of the doona as well. Thank you for your company this evening. Join us again tomorrow night at 5.30. I'm Steve Titmus. Bye for now.